a certain quote that I would like to read out. Maybe you can comment on that. Okay. Um, but this one is, I think, an interesting one. I don't know who said it, but let me see. Uh, maybe it's you, maybe it's not. But um, by the time we were 16, we'd already exhausted the Beatles, TV, and all the other usual stuff. Yeah. Is your quote. Uh, you've got to dig deeper. Yeah. Um, aren't the Beatles deep enough? No, I mean, you discover the Beatles and then you discover like maybe the Beach Boys and Love and then you, like, you know, you go from there to maybe Velvet Underground and stuff like that and then you go from Velvet Underground, you've, you, you, you take it to so many John Cale and you take it to so many different places and the same for like, you know, you find the Smiths and you discover the Associates and the Chameleons and Jesus and Mary Chain and you just go on and on and on, you know, and bands like Orange Juice, Fire Engines and you know, Aztec Camera and it's just, you can, if you look further back, you look at influences for bands, you can see where they get the influence from, you go back and back and back and back and there's so many bands, you know, and we're all very greedy for music, so that's where, you know, I consider bands like the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, um, The Doors to some extent, and Rolling Stone, they're like your bread and butter bands, you know, you kind of like, again, everyone knows them, great music, you know, and then you've got to dig deeper, you know, because you can't, you, you know, there's so much music out there, be lazy just to stick with that, you know, but a lot of people do, but I wasn't stimulated in that way. I needed to find more. What was the best, most recent, uh, discovery you've made? Most recent best discovery. I've actually been listening to a lot of the Shangri-Las recently because I want to work a lot of my harmonies for songs and new material I've been working on and I thought why not go back to Phil Spector you know the guy who did it the best you know and I thought well okay so I've got some music by the Crystals and the Shangri-Las and I've been listening to it over and over again. Some of those songs are really sad subject matters you know like leader of the pack and all that it's like the guy dies and stuff like that, and everyone's like, oh, I'm the leader of the pack. But yeah, I mean, they're all about heartbreak, and uh, which we have in common, but harmony is uh, good, and I've been researching a lot of them recently, so yeah. So good. Um, people can get quite aggressive with you for dressing a bit dandy, <laughs> but it never put me off. I just prance around town and deal with it. Yeah. Do you, how do you deal with it? You just kind of boxing like, lessons? Nah, never boxing lessons. I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. You know? <laughs> um, I think I guess uh, Sunderland is a kind of town where if you dress a little different, you will get noticed. Yeah, miners. And maybe get stuck. To to me, it's well, mining people. Yeah. A bit rough. Yeah, of course. You know, very working class. You know, yeah. and um, it's almost uh, it's it's no one's right to go and try and dress a little bit differently. But we've always dressed a little bit differently as individuals before we we're in a band. You know, we've, I the craziest haircuts and the, the shittest clothes probably for years, you know, but, um, you know, we're very strong individuals, you know, and we don't dress the way we do to draw attention or anything. We, we draw attention just because of the way we dress. I, mean, I don't think we dress that crazy, you know, there's a lot of crazy people out there. Where did you buy this suit? I mean, the jacket? This jacket. Yeah? Well, the thing is, in this position right now, I'm in, people give me clothes for free. This is good, you know, this is good. This is free, I think the top might be free. The jeans are not free. I used to do a lot of shopping in second-hand shops because I used to work for Oxfam for a while and I used to run Sunderland's Oxfam branch. So I used to sell a lot of second-hand clothes and, you know, buy a lot myself. So a lot of my wardrobe is vintage, I guess. But, you know, it's hard to look individual these days because it's, you know, like H&M and Topshop and stuff like that. It's so cheap to buy vintage style clothes, you know, so. But I'd, I recommend going into second-hand shops to get those little special pieces, you know. Okay. Second-hand shops and the shangri Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, last thing, I think you've been uh, asked uh, about this a lot, but bigger than Jesus, better than the Beatles. Oh, yeah. Uh, you two is shit, the <laughs> drums are shit. Yeah. You actually, did you mean that all? Nah, all the, drum, the drums are good. Okay. The rest, <laughs> but I, I don't care. Well, no, I don't. I'm not particularly religious, so I don't believe in Jesus or anything. But no, the, but I mean, the, the drums are good. Drums you shouldn't are have good. said that. Okay, yeah. well, the bigger than Jesus. I think John Lennon said it. In, yeah. In 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 1966, because of that. Yeah, because you know we grew all we grew past the Beatles, you know, so we're not really stimulated by them anymore. So we don't listen to the Beatles. We don't believe in God, but the drums are okay. The drums are you too. You, you two can fuck off. Like, they're so irrelevant now. They were important. If they stayed how they were, they were okay, very then, important. Then, then let's create a new one. Oh, which band is, which uh, contemporary band is underrated? 
Underrated. Um, there's a band called the Dutch Uncles from England. A very, very good band. Okay, and which band is mostly overrated? You two. No, I mean... <laughs> contemporary. Contemporary band. Overrated. Um, I like the XX album, but they get a, a lot of attention, I guess. I don't know. It's not a, it's not a battle of attention. I don't know. It's, it, it depends. You become a victim of your own success. If you succeed, then people hate you, you know? I guess the vaccines, will be, they'll be kind of experiencing a little bit of that. Because, you know, I actually think the vaccine record's good. But no matter what they've put out, because they have so much hype, so many people are going to say, oh, this is shit, you know? But I don't know. The vaccines are good. But we're better than everyone live anyway. <laughs>